stanza 22. At Christ's right hand the sheep do stand, his holy martyrs, who for his dear name suffering shame, calamity, and woe, like champions stood, and with their blood their testimony sealed, whose innocence without offense to Christ their judge appealed. Stanza 23. Next unto whom there find a room all Christ's afflicted ones, who being chastised neither despised nor sank amidst their groans, who by the rod returned to God and loved him the more, not murmuring nor quarreling when they were chastened sore. Stanza 24. Moreover, such as loved much that had not such a trial as might constrain to so great pain and such deep self-denial, yet ready for the cross to bear when Christ called them thereto and did rejoice to hear his voice, there counted sheep also. Stanza 25, Christ's flock of lambs, there also stands, whose faith was weak yet true, all sound believers, gospel receivers, whose grace was small but grew, and them among an infant throng of babes, for whom Christ died, whom for his own, by ways unknown to men, he sanctified. Stanza 26. All stand before their Savior in long white robes clad, their countenance full of pleasance, appearing wondrous glad. O glorious sight, behold how bright dust heaps are made to shine, conform so their Lord unto, whose glory is divine. Stanza 27. At Christ's left hand, the goats do stand, all whining hypocrites, who for self-ends did seem Christ's friends, but fostered guileful sprites, who sheep resembled, but they dissembled, their hearts were not sincere, who once did throng Christ's lambs among, but now must not come near. Stanza 28. Apostates and runaways, such as have Christ forsaken, of whom the devil, with seven more evil, hath fresh possession taken, sinners in grain, reserved to pain, and torments most severe, because against light they sinned with spite, also placed there. Stanza 29. There also stand a numerous band that no profession made of godliness, nor to redress their ways at all a saint, who knew better but sinful crew, gospel and law despised, who all Christ knocks withstood like blocks and would not be advised. Stanza 30. Moreover, there with them appear a number, numberless, of great and small, vile wretches all, that did God's laws transgress, idolaters, false worshippers, profaners of God's name, who not at all therein did call, or took in vain the same. Stanza 31. Blasphemers lewd and swearers shrewd, scoffers of purity that hated God, contemned his rod and loved security, Sabbath polluters, Saints persecutors, presumptuous men and proud, who never loved those that reproved all that stand among this crowd. Stanza 32. Adulterers and whoremongers were there, with all unchast, their covetous and ravenous, that riches got too fast. Who used vile ways themselves to raise, 
to estates and worldly wealth, oppression by or knavery, by force or fraud or stealth. Stanza 33. Moreover, there together were children logicious, and parents who did them undo by nurture vicious, false witness bearers, and self forswearers, murderers, and men of blood, witches, enchanters, and alehouse haunters, beyond account there stood. Stanza 34. Their place there find all heathen blind that nature's light abused. Although they had no tidings glad of gospel grace refused, there stands all nations and generations of Adam's progeny, whom Christ redeemed not, who Christ distinct not through infidelity. Stanza 35 who no peacemaker, no undertaker to shroud them from God's ire ever obtained. They must be pained with everlasting fire. These numerous bands, wringing their hands and weeping, all stand there, filled with anguish. Their hearts do languish through self-tormenting fear. Stanza 36 Fast by them stand at Christ's left hand, the lion fierce and fell, the dragon bold, that serpent old, that hurried souls to hell. There also stand under command legions of sprites uncleans and hellish fiends that are no friends to God nor unto men. Stanza 37 with dismal chains and strongest reins, like prisoners of hell, they're held in place before Christ's face, till he their doom shall tell. These, void of tears, but filled with fears and dreadful expectations of endless pains and scalding flames, stand waiting for damnation. Stanza 38. All silence keep both goats and sheep before the judge's throne. With mild aspect to his elect, then spake the Holy One, My sheep draw near your sentence here, which is to you no dread, who clearly now discern and know your sins are pardoned. Stanza 39 T'was me that ye should judged be, but so the world may spy no cause of grudge, when as I judge and deal impartially, know therefore all, both great and small, the ground and reason why these men do stand at my right hand and look so cheerfully. Stanza 40 These men be those my father chose before the world's foundation, and to me gave that I should save from death and condemnation, for whose dear sake I flesh did take, was of a woman born, and did inure myself to endure unjust reproach and scorn. Stanza 41. For them it was that I did pass through many sorrows, many one, that I drank up that bitter cup, which made me sigh and groan. The cross, his pain, I did sustain, yea, more. My father's ire I underwent, my blood I spent to save them from hellfire. Stanza 42. Thus I esteemed, thus I redeemed all these from every nation, that they may be, as now you see, a chosen generation. What if erewhile they were as vile, as bad as any be, and yet from all their guilt and thrall, at once I set them free. Stanza 43. My grace to one is wrong to none. None can election claim amongst all those their souls that lose. None can rejection blame. He that may choose or else refuse, all men to save or spill. May this man choose and that refuse, 
redeeming whom he will. Stanza 44. But as for those whom I have chose salvation's heirs to be, I underwent their punishment and therefore set them free. I bore their grief and their relief by suffering procured that they of bliss and happiness might firmly be assured. Stanza 45 And this my grace they did embrace, believing on my name, which faith was true. The fruits do show proceeding from the same, their penitence, their patience, their love and self-denial in suffering losses and bearing crosses when put upon the trial. Stanza 46 Their sin forsaking, their cheerful taking my yoke, their charity unto the saints and all their wants, and in them unto me. These things do clear and make appear their faith to be unfeigned, and that a part in my desert and purchase they have gained. Stanza 47 Their debts are paid, their peace is made, their sins remitted are. Therefore at once I do pronounce and openly declare that heaven is theirs, that they be heirs of life and salvation, nor ever shall they come at all to death or to damnation. Stanza 48. Come, blessed ones, and sit on thrones, judging the world with me. Come, and possess your happiness and bought felicity. Henceforth, no fears, no care, no tears, no sin shall you annoy, nor anything that grief doth bring. Eternal rest and joy. Stanza 49. You bore the cross, you suffered loss of all for my name's sake. Receive the crown that's now your own, come and a kingdom take. Thus spake the judge, the wicked grudge and grind their teeth in vain. They see with groans these placed on thrones, which addeth to their pain. Stanza 50 that those whom they did wrong and slay must now their judgment see. Such whom they slighted and once despited must now their judges be. Thus tis decreed, such is their meed, and guerdon glorious. With Christ they sit, judging is fit to plague the impious.